In this video, I will show you the construction and logical operation of NMOS inverter circuit. NMOS inverter, that means the circuit will use N type enhancement MOSFET. As this will be an inverter circuit. Therefore, if I apply logical 1 at the input, I will get logical 0 at the output. If I apply logical 0 at the input, I will get logical 1 at the output. Before going to the logical operation of NMOS inverter circuit, let me talk about the switching property of a N-type MOSFET. Switching property, that means I will talk about the on-state condition and off-state condition of a switch or of this N-type enhancement MOSFET. See, this is a symbol of a N-type MOSFET. We control the property of this N-type MOSFET by applying gate voltage which I have denoted here with VI. Now let me talk about the on state. The threshold voltage of a n-type enhancement MOSFET is a positive number which should be around 1 volt. So if I apply an input voltage VI greater than threshold voltage. For example, in case of in most logic circuits, we will use 5 volt to apply logic 1 and we will apply 0 volt to indicate logic 0 in the circuit. So when our VI will be greater than VTH. For example, if I talk about input voltage VI equal to plus 5 volt, it is obviously greater than this plus 1 volt. Therefore, I can say that our MOSFET will be in on state. When the MOSFET will be in on state, we will get drain to source current ID. Therefore, the channel will provide a low resistance path. R on state will be around 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, if I apply VI greater than VTH, our MOSFET will be in on state and I will get drain current ID. In that case, the on state channel resistance will be around 1 kilo ohm. See, 5 volt. That means if I apply logic 1, our MOSFET will be in on state. Okay. And it will provide low resistance path for current flow. Now, let me talk about off state. Off state. That means our input voltage VI will be less than VTH. If I apply 0 volt or logic 0 at this input terminal, our MOSFET will be in off state. When the MOSFET will be in off state, it will provide high resistance to current flow and off state resistance will be approximately 10 to the power 12 ohm. R off will be approximately 10 to the power 12 ohm which is nearly equal to infinite resistance that means I will get infinite resistance from this drain to source terminal therefore our channel region will act like an open circuit or open switch therefore our drain current ID will be nearly equal to zero so I can say that when our MOSFET will be in off state The channel between the source and drain terminal will act like an open circuit. And when the channel will act like an open circuit, I can disconnect the drain and source terminal from the original circuit. See, as the MOSFET is in off state, I have disconnected the source and drain terminal from the given circuit. Okay. Now I will show you the construction and logical operation of NMOS inverter circuit. This is the structure of a basic NMOS inverter circuit. This circuit contains two N-channel MOSFETs, Q1 and Q2. The transistor Q1 will act as a load MOSFET and the transistor Q2 will act as a switching MOSFET. The transistor Q1 will act as a load MOSFET. 
that means it will act like a load register in a network or in a circuit therefore we will design and connect the transistor q1 in the inverter circuit so that it provides a desired resistance and that resistance act like a load resistor see here this is the gate terminal of the transistor q1 and the gate terminal of the transistor q1 is connected with this 5 volt source that means our transistor q1 will be in on state our transistor q1 will always be into the on state but its on state resistance will be around 100 kilo ohm we will design the transistor q1 so that it provides on state resistance around 100 kilo ohm okay now see we will apply the logical input at the gate terminal of the transistor q2 as our transistor q1 and q2 will act like a resistor during on or off state therefore i can easily simplify this mos network with this resistive network okay see here i will apply vi equal to zero volt or vi is at logic zero that means our transistor q2 will be in off state when the transistor q2 will be in off state its channel resistance r2 will be around 10 to the power 12 ohm which is nearly infinite resistance therefore the source and drain terminal of the transistor q2 will act like an open switch so i can disconnect the source and drain terminal of the transistor q2 from our given network as this will provide infinite resistance that means this portion of the of this network will act like an open circuit so i can also disconnect the resistance r2 from our network therefore you will see the drain current id through this path will be equal to zero because this is an open circuit and in an open circuit there is no current flow therefore you will see our vo will be equal to 5 volt and in case of 5 volt i will get logic 1 at the output if i apply logical 0 or 0 volt in the input of the transistor q2 now let me talk about logical 1 state of the input i will apply logical 1 at the input terminal that means i will apply plus 5 volt between this terminal to this terminal when i will apply plus 5 volt here you will see our transistor q2 will be in on state when the transistor q2 will be in on state its on state resistance r2 will be around 1 kilo ohm therefore you will see i will get current flow id through this path if i show it in the schematic i will get id here from this VDD to this ground terminal now see as the transistor Q1 is in on state it will provide channel resistance of 100 kilo ohm and it will provide channel resistance of 1 kilo ohm now see if I apply voltage divider rule I can easily calculate our output voltage VO will be equal to R2 or 1 kilo ohm divided by 1k plus 100k into 5 volt therefore i will get 1 divided by 101 into 5 therefore our output voltage will be nearly equal to 0 volt it will be very small so i can consider it as 0 volt and see when i will apply logical one at the input our output will be logic zero so this is an inverter circuit that's it thank you